Hello, I'm Joe Wren. Police have arrested Eli Schwarzentruber after a seven-hour standoff yesterday. It all started when police received reports of a man swinging a metal bar at a group of people in Seminary Park. He fled into a storm drain where he threatened police that he had a rifle. Two loud bangs heard by eyewitnesses were not gunfire. An officer believes they could have been flashbangs deployed by the SWAT team. A K-9 unit was released and caught Swartz and Truber, who was taken to IU Health Hospital for treatment from the police dog. Swartz and Truber is now in Monroe County Jail with multiple charges. No firearms were found. Well, federal data shows most people who need opioid treatment don't get it. Yet nearly every state, including Indiana, has laws that limit access to treatment facilities. Researchers from Pew Charitable Trust say 80 percent of counties in Indiana don't even have one opioid treatment program. Indiana law places a limit on the number of treatment programs that can open. And Indiana is one of 19 states that requires facilities to present a legal document showing the services are necessary. There are also additional zoning laws that go beyond regulations for other medical facilities. And IU Bloomington has been named one of the best LGBTQ plus friendly colleges and universities in the United States by Campus Pride. I think the recognition really is recognizing the fact that we have these resources that creates a environment to be supportive of the community. The national nonprofit organization chose IUB as one of 40 colleges and universities to receive the recognition. Now, quick check of the forecast for tonight. Scattered showers, lows down to 60 degrees in the five-day forecast. Tomorrow, sunny, 71 degrees, a bit cooler on Friday. More news online, WTIUnews.org.